Gather up ladies and gentlemen, the property you are about to see is unlike anything you have witnessed in your lifetime. Some of you may be thinking these are big houses, but boy oh boy you are wrong. What you are about to see will knock your socks off and send you running to your nearest gas station to buy lottery tickets. The cost of the land alone is already more expensive than any other house sold in America. Think about that for a second, just think about it. Here is a nice aerial shot of the property located in West Palm Beach, Florida along Billionaires Row. It does not only include the main plot of land under construction, but also three parcels neighboring it and even one across the street that the owner will most likely build an underground tunnel to access it without walking across the main street like a peasant would. This parcel is located on the intercoastal, perfect for a modest 20,000 square foot guest house and to park your yacht in the backyard filled with your mistresses. Here is a graphical representation of the land the owner has been assembling starting 10 years ago in 2012. You can see he's been balling on a whole new level and creating a trophy property unlike anything available. Literally any time a neighboring parcel would go up for sale, he'd buy it. The property now has over 20 acres and each parcel was just purchased for the land. All houses remaining will be torn down when he is ready for construction. He's spent a total of 375 million just on the land. Holy freaking cannoli! That is a lot of cheddar cheese. This is an old aerial image from 2010 before any homes were knocked down. Here is a current day aerial for perspective, except the home in the top left has since been demolished. This portion of the property is where the first residence will be built on just under 7 acres of land. It will be around 50,000 square feet and have roughly 425 feet of ocean front for you to dip your toes into when they're feeling chilly. This first residence could cost upwards of $50 million to build given a construction cost of $1,000 per square foot. Wow, that is a lot of cheddar. Here are some renderings of what the first residence will look like. Very classy and Palm Beach chic, it gets my seal of approval. I would expect nothing less. Only the best is what you can expect for a property of this magnitude. Just keep in mind that this first home is essentially a guest house for the ginormous home that is still being planned next door. So you may be wondering who is the owner behind this extraordinary property. Well, it's none other than Citadel founder and CEO, Mr. Ken Griffin. The same guy that just recently purchased a copy of the US Constitution for $43 million after his son asked him to. By the way, he also holds the record for the most expensive home purchase in America. Looks like he already broke his own record with his Palm Beach property. Me likey. Me likey very much. Another trophy property he purchased is this mansion in London for $122 million right down the street from the Queen in Buckingham Palace. Talk about having good neighbors, am I right? Mr. Griffin is also a avid art collector with some of the most expensive pieces in the world which he broke records for. He reportedly paid a total of $500 million for two paintings. The first being Willem de Kooning's masterpiece interchange for $300 million. The second was Jackson Pollock's number 17A for 200 million. Me likey. You have exquisite taste Mr. Griffin. Exquisite taste. He is also currently assembling the most expensive property in Miami, Florida. This is just a sneak peek for a later video folks, so stay tuned and subscribe if you like the cheddar. Now, back to the Palm Beach property. This is a Google Street view of the main parcel of land to give you a perspective of just how massive this one portion of the property is. This main parcel was under construction as shown in previous images, but has since been halted due to budgeting issues. Did I mention that the property taxes are just over $5.5 million every year? That is simply insane. But when you're balling on a whole new level, you have my support brother. Now let's take a look at some of Mr. Griffin's neighbors. To the south, we have the Sackler family. They own Purdue Pharma, the makers of OxyContin, and are currently battling a $6 billion lawsuit for their role in the opioid pandemic. To the west, we have Jeffrey Lurie, owner of the Philadelphia Eagles, and Thomas Betterfi, owner and founder of Interactive Brokers. To the north is John L. Thornton, ex-co-president of Goldman Sachs, and last but not least Big Daddy Trump's Mar-a-Lago property at the northernmost portion of the image. 
Security detail was tight along the primary road when Trump was president. Secret Service made it felt like they own the whole place. The road was closed to the public when he was in town and residents had to show their license with their address to show proof they lived along the road. That is pretty baller I must say. Thanks for watching folks. Subscribe for more cheddar. I will be sure not to disappoint. Let me know in the comments if you would build a house of this magnitude. Stay classy YouTube.